There we go. So let's, okay. So I'll start with NAND. Let's see. So I'll create an AND gate and a NOT gate. And I will put, whoops. these in. So this is now going to be, so this is now a NAND. Uh, I can, so I can, so I can, so you can see that if both of the inputs are off, the output is on. If either of the inputs is on, the output is still on. But if both of the inputs are on, the output is off. So now if I hit create, we should have a NAND gate. Um, I should, let's now create an OR gate. So I can use the NAND gate from before to create an OR gate. I will put NOT gates in front of the inputs of the NAND gate. As you have seen, what this As you have seen before, if neither of the inputs are on, the output is uh, uh, the output is off. If either of the inputs is on, the output is on. If both of the inputs is on, the output is still on. So this is an OR gate because if one input or the other is on, the output is on. Let's so create, and now I have an OR gate. Next up comes an XOR gate, um, which is the same as an OR gate, but if both of the inputs are on, then it's then it's not on anymore. So it's one input or the other, but not both. I can take the OR gate as a starting point for that. Um, and I want to somehow switch this OR gate off if both of the inputs are on. So I'm going to use a NAND gate to do that. And then I can put an AND gate in to combine these. So now, if both of the inputs are on, the output of the NAND gate will be off. And for an AND gate, if, the, if one of the inputs is off, it's game over. So right now, because the NAND gate is outputting off, um, this AND gate basically blocks the OR gate. So it's not, so as I said, the OR gate is basically switched off. If the NAND gate is on, though, then you can see the, in, in which case one of the inputs is um, off, then it's up to the OR gate to decide what to output. It's actually quite a, quite a nice feature that no matter what you do with it, the output is always going to switch. <laughs> XOR has many nice properties, including that. Uh, so this now is going to give us an XOR gate. What about um, a binary adder? So if you don't know what a binary adder is, that's something that takes some number of input bits, so input zeros or ones, and output the sum in binary. So I'm going to start with just two. And I can put an XOR gate and an AND gate in. And again, this is all coming from the Sebastian lag video. If 
you want to see even more in-depth circuits, you should probably go watch that. Um, so the output of this AND gate and the output of this XOR gate together will give us the output sum in binary. This is actually because if both the inputs are off, then neither of them will output on, so they will just be off. The, the output will be 0, 0, or, and 0 plus 0 is indeed 0, so that works out. If one of them is on, then the XOR will output on and the AND will output off, so that makes 0, 1, which is 1. So 1, so one plus 0 is 1, so that's good. 1 plus 1, that would make the AND gate on and the XOR gate off, so that would get, get us 1, 0, which is 2 in binary. Uh, I can add a third bit in to add three inputs. Um, so first of all, I want to use this circuit to add the result of the addition to this third input. Sorry if this is kind of confusing here, but... <laughs> Now I can put these through an AND gate also. And because each of these is worth two, I can actually just or these together and I would get a correct result. Finally, I can put the outputs in. So this now gives us zero plus zero plus zero is zero. So that's good. If I put any one of them on, then the circuit is such that, um, I'll just not make it shut because of that. Ignore that extra input, that was accidental. Um, <laughs> um, so if I put any one of them on, then the output is zero, one or one. If I put two of them on, And the output is one zero or two, so that works. And if I put all three of them on, we get one one or three. So there we go. We've now made a binary adder with all of this. Um, if you, again, if you want to see this taken further, um, watch the Sebastian lag video. I really don't want to copy him. <laughs>